Governor Beloyce's big business, especially the state's insurance giants, have told him that they fully support his proposed revisions to those business taxes and they won't be moving data operations out of state if it passes. Well, he is also telling parents of adult children with disabilities not to worry that he can find the funding for their programs. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with more. Good evening, Mark. Hi, Jocelyn and Darren. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Now, the governor returned from his big trip to Europe last night and has revealed to News 8 that he has no negotiating session scheduled with legislative leaders on the state budget until Friday. The governor says reaction from some of the biggest companies in the state to his plan to roll back those business tax hikes has been entirely positive. We have heard uh, that all of the insurance uh, big data users uh, are, are happy with that, that change and, and as a result won't be forced to move um, uh, uh, some of those responsibilities out of the state. Big data users like the Travelers and Aetna were alarmed because the original budget would have tripled the sales tax on data services. A proposal that the governor had originally supported now says was a mistake, and that's why he is proposing no change in that tax. I think that that was um, a mistake uh, uh, to uh, talk about increasing that tax, uh, particularly when our uh, uh, insurance industry in the state is so dependent on uh, out, outsized pr uh, processing of data. He also says those parents of adult children with intellectual and developmental disabilities should not fear that the quarter billion dollars that he wants to cut from the budget will affect the services for their kids and makes this pledge. We can do this. Uh, we can get through this and, and continue to provide the level of services to all our citizens, including the disabled, uh, on the budget that I'm proposing. He says that there will still be more money in the budget for these services, even with the reductions, because it's a line item in the current budget that has not been entirely spent. So to simply fund an item because that's how you funded it in the past, knowing that you're going to have too much money in the account doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now, there is still no specific date set for a special session of the General Assembly, but News 8 has learned that state reps and senators have been told to reserve the dates of 25, 28, and 29. That's next Friday and the following Monday and Tuesday. It's going to fall in one of those three days. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.